the Joker. <laughs> Let the good times roll! You know, the thing with, with the Joker is that in the long comic book history of the character, he started off as pretty much a straight homicidal maniac, and then they kind of made him goofier and goofier. And then he became kind of a joke. Mother always said I had talent. And then this time they brought him back as a serious, psychotic killer. The Joker in our show could not kill. <laughs> because it was a children's television show. Instead of him murdering people, we would have him give him that, that hideous Joker grin, which in its own way is almost worse. <laughs> I really have to congratulate myself on this one. I never like clowns. Yeah, they, they always give me the willies. <laughs> Joker's the perfect Batman villain because he's, he's the antithesis of Batman. A bat in the hand is worth two in the belfry. It's antimatter and matter facing each other. <laughs> I don't really know why he's such a perfect yin to Batman's yang, because the characters are really dissimilar. I mean, there's nothing, you know, historical about clowns and bats. You're losing your edge. Joker is the flip side of Batman. Batman's grim, Joker's happy. <laughs> the personal hatred that the Joker has towards Batman, the fact that he just wanted the limelight. A countdown of victims that will end at midnight, unless our dear Dark Knight stops me first. <laughs> Mark Hamill just nailed that part perfectly. When, when The second we heard that scary laugh, Hello, we, knew, we knew he had the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really fun to watch him perform the character because all of the other actors are all seated and Mark has to stand to do it and he gets his whole body into it. You could actually videotape Mark Hamill recording the voice and use some of that for the animation. He is so articulate in his physical acting. What made the Joker so much fun was that he didn't have anything really at stake. He just set out to do whatever he wanted and it was more of a challenge to Batman to say, try and catch me. It's time I capped off our feud with his ultimate humiliation. I don't know if there's another situation in pop culture villains where the villain and the hero are just so white and black. 